Hi everyone, Jason here, founder of PyQuant News. Back to talk about something super scary, but also something super important to understand if you're actively trading, and that's Drawdown. More specifically, how to compute Drawdown with Python. Let's do it. First, we'll start by importing OpenBB and NumPy. OpenBB is a great library for acquisition of data. And today we'll just do the Drawdown for the S&P 500 tracker SPY. So first we want to take the return. So we're not computing the drawdown on price, but rather the returns. And we're going to assume that we're just long SPY. So computing the simple returns is as simple as one line of code. Finally, we'll compute the function for drawdown. And I'll walk you through step by step. So first we want to define a function called drawdown. Then we want to make sure that we fill the very first value of our return series with zeros. Next, we want to take the cumulative returns. And since we're dealing with simple returns to aggregate simple returns through time, we have to take returns plus one, and then the cumulative product. Finally, we'll use a super handy numpy maximum.accumulate method to accumulate or get the running maximum value of the input series. In this case, we'll maintain the running maximum value, which is actually the maximum running return, excuse me, the maximum running maximum return. Finally, we'll take the difference, the percent change between the cumulative return and the running maximum return, which is our drawdown, and when we find the minimum value, that actually is the maximum or drawdown. So now that we have our function built, let's create a plot. So we'll just do this in one block of code. Uh, Pandas makes it easy to chain functions together. We'll take the rolling 30-day window of returns, apply the drawdown function, and create a plot. And there we have it. So drawdown is super important to understand when you're trading an active portfolio. It's also really important to make sure that your equity curve is proportional to your drawdown. Take care and see you next time.